Are you wearing some sort of plastic cover over your body right now? <laughs> yes. I'm loving it. Yeah. Ugh. But we, anyway. We had to let one of our band members go because he always smelled like alcohol and it disgusted me. Now, actually, I, I, a couple of other reasons. I discovered I, I quit smoking like five months ago. Mm-hmm. And it, it just opens up your life to not smelling like real shit just, all the time. Just that bad, stale smell just hanging around you. But anyway, I think we should do an interview. All right. Is it, if that's all right with you. Sure. Definitely. I've forgotten which one's which now. Tegan. Tegan, Sarah. Mm. That, that actually works. I forgot I your name, actually. Which James. Jimmy. James. Jimmy. Jimmy, that works. Jimmy. How do you get Jimmy out of James? I'm going to call you Jimmy James. JJ for this interview. That works. Okay. I'm, I'm not bothered. We're at a meatpacking plant yeah, or something. It's quite strange. Yeah. I do like... <laughs> you know, the um, there's like a waitress over there or some sort of chick wearing, a, uh, wearing an apron. Yeah. I don't know. She was like, you know, some sort of hotel employee. She actually spotted you guys. Oh my god, it's really? Sarah. Yeah. I love those guys. I'm like, fucking hey, nice. Right. Don't get an autograph. She, she was too scared. So. Yeah. I can imagine that that would happen to you. It happened sometimes when I was out last night eating before I went to this event, and these two people came up to me and the people I was eating with, and they were just like, ah! And I was just like, you know, it's funny, it's like, it's cool, but then on the another, there's another point where you're just like, that's really rude. Yeah, like, yeah. to interrupt someone's dinner and spaz out yeah. and stuff like that. How's it going, Dan? Yeah, no, we're ready to go, so yeah. just cool. whenever you're feeling the vibe. Awesome. I'm vibing. Vibey. <laughs> uh, let's sit up straight. Elocution, baby. And they've gotten the waxing thingy machine turned on. That's great. Okay. Awesome. I'm Jimmy J. Rodriguez. This is Beat TV. This, awesomely enough, is Tegan and Sarah. We are Tegan and Sarah. It is. It actually works really well because that's Tegan. That's Sarah. I don't forget. It works. Ladies, we, ha- we, we? we contractually have to sit like this. <laughs> we have to sit in order of our names. Yeah. I like it. It happens sometimes. Tegan will be like, can you just move slightly over here? And I'm like, oh my God, she's placing us in our in the formation of our names. That's true. That's weird. Very in the vulnerable. womb, it was like, that's how we came out. When we came out, they took an x-ray or an ultrasound of us in the womb. And my mom was like, Tegan and Sarah. That's awesome. Yeah. What was the end symbol? The end was uh, the umbilical cord yeah, or whatever. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it sort of looked like an end. It's vaguely disgustingly weird but we'll run with it so you think you think babies and life is weird yeah so disgusting. Not, I'm not down with that so you hate life yeah I do That's I'm crazy. I'm so hardcore um, if you had a womb you would think that 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 image was actually stunning and amazing as opposed to just be really scared yeah, yeah. like you don't think you don't see a little little baby roo sticking out of a kangaroo's <laughs> pouch and just think life well stunning I go that's gonna look awesome on my dinner plate later on this evening Australians are so, so mean. It was bad, wasn't it? Those little... <laughs> no? No, no. I'm, I'm not a big kangaroo kind of guy. I'm more of a koala and wombat kind of dude. Oh, you eat koalas? Yeah. It's like, no. It's like eating a baby. I don't even know how you guys can We do don't that. actually eat them. It's all right. Okay, okay. Yeah, nice. Anyway, how are you finding Australia? We're doing just fine. Yeah, we're finding it. We found it just fine. We arrived here safely in It's Sydney. what, 24 hours from most places. So. Far. Yeah. <laughs> the pilot found it for you, so it's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice, but I'm um, happy to be here. It's it's a really nice day outside. Yeah. It's like wonderful weather. Yeah. Like, are you much in the way of beach goers or not? We actually, when we arrived in Perth, we went to the beach in our jean jackets. It's, the pictures are hilarious. I sent them to someone and they were like, you guys look like you're like sleeping on the beach like you're like hobos, hobos. or something. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Take it. Uh, I, would, I would agree. I did wear my jean jacket to the beach. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very nice. But um, are you excited? You're playing tonight, obviously, at the Forum, which is a fantastic venue. Is it? Yeah, cool. really nice. If you actually look up on the roof, it's all starry. Yeah? It's very pretty. Huh? Like you can see stars from the roof. Yeah, it's like, it just huh. keeps going. It's very cool. That's and really It'll work cool. really good for you guys. Yeah. I feel. I, ho- I hope so. I think it's going to be cool. We love playing in Melbourne, and we like playing in good venues, so good venue plus Melbourne equals... It just works. It's amazing. It's, it is quite cool. But yeah. obviously, it's a huge show. It sold out really quickly. Your fans, would I be right in saying that they're quite nuts about you guys? Passionate. I think that we just don't come, like, we don't go to Europe and Australia very often, so I find both markets, they sell quickly, but with this record, like, even in America, tickets are selling quickly, but, I th- and I think that's really great. I think it is definitely because our fans are pretty rabid and excited, but I also think that we're still the kind of band that we've never had a ton of label support. Like, they've always just gone through the motions, it feels like, with us, so in a weird way, we've remained the people's band. Like, we've remained, like, we're not corrupted yet by, like, mainstream, like, culture and, like, labels. And, like, so I think that 
um, especially in Australia where, you know, we've, you know, just been coming over here sort of on our own dime, working yeah. it ourselves. And like, you know, when we toured with Little Birdie and they got sick and had to cancel the tour and we just kept doing it, we just kept touring anyway and played the venues that they had booked and just would go out every night and beg the lineup to stay. And just literally, we, we literally like kind of, we kind of created our own audience here. Yeah. And um, so I do think that they are pretty excitable for sure. It's inspiring stuff, isn't it? It is. That's great. Mm -hmm. There are not many bands that can actually say that either. No. Yeah. We'll say anything. Most bands are really lazy and you know. And that's I'll say it. I'll say it. They really are. Most and ugly. Get handed, get handed everything at the beginning, you know, because but they also do it for a price because they hand over a piece of everything to the label yeah. or whoever. And Sarah and I kept a lot of that control and that um, piece of ourselves, and so we've been able to retain a lot of control over our band. So it's pretty much just like even though we're ten years into it and we're on a major label now, we just we still are hundred percent in charge of everything. Damn straight. Is it weird that you've been doing this for ten years as well? I mean, you're twenty seven. Is it, right? it is weird, yeah. Like this is our ten year high school reunion this year. <laughs> I, do you well, know that what movie? What you say when you go back to it? That's awesome. I'm not going I'm not back. Going. I decided that as much as I hate Facebook and these, I don't know how big Facebook is in Australia. It's, it's, it's getting, getting bigger. bigger, bigger yeah. Bigger. I hate Facebook. Like I hate those kind of like post-it note communication type systems. I like that. Good. And um, but. Having said that, I think that Facebook was invented to to ensure that I could avoid ever going back to any sort of reunion because that's what it is. Mm. Facebook is a high school reunion. You're like fat, ugly, children, children and beer, gross. You know, like really successful, it never is, liked you, and you don't. You're not even on Facebook. You know what I mean? Like it is. Like, a com you know, it's so completely true as well. I mean, yeah. um, the biggest point is. I fucking hate most of the people I went to high school with. Like, there's a fact. When people say to me, are you on retards. Facebook? I'm like, no, I lost touch with all those people for a reason. For a reason. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want to speak to them. Yeah. Now okay. they're like oh. Okay, FYI, Facebook no one shit. needs yeah. 97 friends poking them. That's disgusting. <laughs> and Well, there's been a couple of parties I've been to of late, and it's yeah. kind of yeah, devolved into that. But... Yeah, that's great. Disgusting. I'm also lying. Yeah. But that would be weird, wouldn't it? Well, that's yeah. what people do on Facebook, so you should get an account <laughs> fast. Let me tell you something. No one has orgies except for older people. Like, young people are way too skittish to have orgies it anymore. Is, I was at a place true. last night where... Everyone's too would, nervous. Yeah, exactly. Older people... Here I am trying sure. to start them all the fucking time, and no one will join in. I don't believe you. Maybe I should just stop walking into venues yeah. and not wearing pants. I bet you're very sensitive. I bet you don't... I bet you're not a casual guy at all. I bet you're really intense, and girls are always like, Stop being so intense with me. You're really freaking me out. I said no. <laughs> I'm not going on that date with you. you Stop. You got the second part bit. Uh, yeah. The second bit, right? You know, they're always saying no. Yeah. yeah. It's it's so sad. Yeah. I cry myself they're to like, sleep at night. They're like sixty seconds with him, or should I just go home? Or should for I just a nice go home and watch a DVD? DVD. <laughs> Have a bath. Maybe shave my legs. Yeah. Mm. It, it's far far more worth it, I believe. <laughs> but anyway, um, your new record as well. Yeah, we have one. Let's let's talk about it. Okay. The con. Okay. Because it's really good. Thank you. Because like you, you guys were a band that I sort of never really got into, but um, all of my female friends were like, "Why don't you like taking it there?" I'm like, "They're chicks, you know. Whatever. Yeah. You know, I don't I don't dig chick bands. Because yeah. I'm a big dude, right? I love um, sexism. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. But like it, it was kind of always like I just never really got yeah. around to listening to. It. And then I actually did listen. I went, "Yeah, the fuckers were right." Yeah. They're really good. Yeah, there's I a lot of really great good good music made by females, mm. by women. I think it just takes people time. Like, the fact is, is that, like, a lot of mainstream girl music isn't necessarily relatable to anyone. Yeah. You know, except for robots or people without brain, you know, power, but... Take but, that, the mainstream. But so are a yeah. lot of guys. But so are a lot of guy bands. bands. Like, I just exactly. mean, like, the mainstream I mean, honestly, is kind of, like... It's like the, fucking Hinder or something. Yeah, and it would be, like, it, it would be us, right? It would be, like, me writing off all male acts because all that's out there are, like, <laughs> the band that you just said or, like, some of these hardcore bands that I don't understand. But there's so much great stuff under the surface. You just have to start digging around. And I think that's been the kind of most exciting part of the last two records for Tegan and Sarah. Like, So Jealous and The Con mm -hmm. have both cracked into this, like, new weird market that is actually very much like our market, you know? And so you've got these, like, hardcore bands and, like, these, like, emo kids and all these dudes that are coming up to the show and being like, I love your band! And you're just like, yeah, well, we have a lot in common. We both like girls.